Here's our first look at the uh, EcoWorthy dual axis solar tracking system in the wintertime. It's about mid-January. We've had quite a bit of snow over the last couple weeks. There's two to three feet on the ground. Um, there's a few inches, probably six inches of snow on these panels. I was hoping it was going to shut them, but uh, it obviously hasn't shut at all. You see a little bit of pile in front of it, but uh, I'm going to have to keep an eye on this this winter, maybe put a little more slope on it if I can. Uh, but there's our first look at it. We'll see if everything's running and working the way it's supposed to. This is a winter update of the EcoWorthy dual axis solar tracking system. I've had this installed for several months now and it's been working great. Uh, I don't winter up here at this cabin and so I like to come in about once a month and check on things. It's mid-January right now and over the last couple of weeks we've got a lot of snow and uh, I wanted to come check on it, make sure everything was working well. And one of the things I noticed right off the bat is that there was about six inches of snow on the panels. And that worries me because we get up to six feet of snow up here. And if it's not shedding snow like I, I hope it will, then uh, it could crush this little tracker. Um, there was snow piled up in front of it, so it is shedding some, um, but it's not shedding at all. I have a little bit of room to work with that southern axis, so we're going to try to adjust it all the way south, and maybe that few degrees will help. Um, so we'll do that and see if that makes a difference. I'll keep you updated on that. The other thing that I noticed is that the actuator for the north and south function is not working. I think I know what's going on thanks to a comment on a previous video from a subscriber. Thank you for that. Um, I think I know what's happening. We're gonna try to fix it and, and you guys can come along with me as we do that. Um, but uh, those are the couple things that I'm seeing right now. It's not shedding snow like I hoped and uh, that north-south actuator is not working. So we'll see if we can get it fixed up. So thanks to a comment left on one of my previous videos by a subscriber, here's what I think is going on with the actuator. I don't have that subscriber's name right now. I don't get internet up here, but I'm going to leave that down in the description. Thank you so much to my subscribers for your help and, and watching my videos. Uh, but what's going on, I think, is that this actuator is facing with the rod up. That's how the instructions show you to install it. Uh, but with the rod facing up, water gets down into that actuator and will freeze it up. So we're going to take this apart, take it inside, warm it up, dry it out, see if we can't get this function in again. And then what we'll do is we'll mount it upside down from the instructions and switch the wires so that uh, it is still going to run north and south like it's supposed to. And hopefully that'll fix our problem. Um, so thanks again to that subscriber that left the comment. We're going to try that out and see how it goes. I took the actuator inside last night, got it all dried out, remounted it with the motor facing up, rewired it so it was operating in the right direction, and it is still not working. So I'm going to need to reach out to EcoWorthy and see if we can't figure out what's going on. I'll keep you guys in the loop on that and also keep you updated with how it handles the snow loads this winter. For updates on this and for other off-grid projects, please like and subscribe, and thanks for watching.